morning everyone. Welcome to the walk. Hope you enjoyed the drive this morning. We had such a fantastic drive with, um, with the lions and then the, the cheetah as well, which is always a treat. We had Triaz Dam again and I was hoping to start somewhere in the middle on the mud there and walk over it, but <laughs> it's still very, very soft. Even this part here that's looking very hard and firm, as soon as you put weight in it, you can just about, there you can see, you start soaking in. Just shows you how wet it still is underneath. Oi, oi, oi. Um, I've sunk in as well. Just shows you that it's quite easy to imagine. You know, in the beginning it might be hard to imagine, but you can imagine all the frogs and the catfish even that are underneath in that mud. And uh, hopefully quite soon we'll get some rain and um, this water will fill up and everything will get green and there'll be lots of things flying around and running around and um, these water holes will become very active again. We're um, going to walk around Triage Dam again. There is still a little bit of water. We can have a look at it just now. But um, we're also testing a different antenna today. So maybe, well, hopefully we can walk a little bit more in terms of distance. So um, come along with us. Enjoy the walk. Bit of experiment as well. And I'm sure we'll see a few fantastic things. Home down the camera. Pete's on the relay point. Superior in the Life Control Center. My name is Peter. And you're with Wild Earth. Let's go look around. lovely all the bird calls it's something that's changed a lot over the last little while even though it hasn't rained that much yet because you can hear robins the whole time and gray luri's calling just now okay yeah you can see not much water available we did a bit of a dig exercise the other day opening it up this is actually the side we were digging on and you can see obviously lots of animals drinking here have sort of um, pushed the sand back in again. And now it's very, very shallow water. Still better than no water, obviously. That's why there's quite often game here. We saw those impalas again when we came closer earlier. But they were busy moving away. What they need here is an elephant to come and do a bit of digging again. Literally watch it filling up with water. Look at that. But, we'll uh, come back and have another look just now. There's lots of fresh tracks here from those Impala. There's actually a perfect track, this one. You can see the split hoof. There's another one. This is from them drinking earlier. I haven't seen any leopard tracks at either of these two. So what I'm hoping maybe is that later on that leopard we heard this morning. We didn't see the leopard, but close to Baboon Pan. There was almost certainly a leopard. There were the tracks. The monkeys were calling. If it hasn't passed yet, maybe if we're lucky tonight, they might come for a bit of a drink. This water table is also slowly going down just a little bit. If you look at this. We've had a look at this area a few times. This is more sort of sort of rocky gravel. And it's just a little bit less water than there was a week ago. All right, let's see how far we can go this way. Let's try and see this little... Ah, oh, it's running away. With a little stin buck, but it's disappeared now. It's just standing there dead, still looking at us, freezing. That's one of the ways they avoid predators. Most antelopes, actually. But stin buck may be the most known for it. That's what the name literally means. Stin buck means... Uh, if you translate directly, stin means stone buck. So a stone buck. Or a, a frozen bug, almost, if you, if you translate a little bit more freely. So an animal that just stands dead still without moving a muscle. So when they're standing in the bush and something like us walks past or a leopard or something, the animal will just immediately freeze, not move anything, not even the ears. 
and just look at you. And then when it gets spotted, like it saw, as soon as I stopped and looked at it, it could see that it had been seen. It ran off. Best way of camouflage, first rule of camouflage is do not move too much. If you can stand dead still, it's much harder to be spotted. Woodpecker calling as well, great at bush strike. Lots of bird sounds. It's something scurrying there. I don't think it's the mongooses. Keep in mind there's a group of mongoose in this area that we see every so often. But the mongoose, you'd hear little chirp calls or little alarm calls. Maybe something smaller, Franklin or something. Just heard the bushes rustling. I must say the signal's looking good. Quite a bit further than before. rustling there. Guys, I want to try something else as well, just so we can see a little bit where we can go. I want to walk a bit further. We might be breaking up a little bit, but there's a termite mound by a big tree. And if we can stop there, we can see maybe we can get a good sound from there and we can look around a bit. So if we break up a little bit, bear with us. Just going to see what we can do. Well, let's see. And if you take a stand still for now. Brilliant. Right, now obviously, can't go much further walking with you just because we're on a bit of a high point. This is actually a place I've hoped to get to before. Got a lovely bit of history. I've known about it before. So, um, this is just a good place for future as well. Quite often animals are coming down towards the water or moving through this area, even if they're just walking past. This is a very popular footpath for them to take. A little bit, a bit difficult to make it out maybe, but it's a little bit of the drainage line or the downflow of water that fills the dam up. And quite often there's some good activity around here. It would be nice to sit here one day and there's a couple of big buffalo coming down or elephant. Very nice places to sit as well. We've got a nice safe feel to it. It's always good to listen. It's one of the amazing things about being on foot. What's that little goshawk flying past. One of the amazing things about being on foot is that you really can hear so much around you. All the bird calls, even the wind. You can hear it just now and again in the grass. You can feel the breeze at the moment. The wind's coming almost straight from you towards me, so from tree and direction. 